I'm here in Cleethorpes to find out more about the history of this fascinating miniature railway and discover why it's so well loved and popular by the visitors and locals. Did you know that Cleethorpes Coast Light Railway is visited by around 75,000 people every year? And this year it celebrates its 75th anniversary. Since 1948, the Cleethorpes Coast Light Railway has been one of the go-to attractions on the Lincolnshire coast. So the Cleethorpes Coast Light Railway was first established in 1948. It was started by a chap called William Botterill. It was opened on the 16th of July and it ran as a ten and a quarter inch gauge railway, purely as a pleasure railway, taking people up and down the Boating Lake, uh, just, just for a bit of fun really and it was running that way for about five years until a chap called Mr Clefro came over, took it on and he ran it before the council took over in the 60s. In the 1960s battery locomotives were used and in 1972 the line was extended in both directions. The railway went through a real sort of a good period before people started going on holiday in the 70s and the railway did see a little bit of a decline. Happily in the early 1990s a chap called Chris Shaw came along, the railway was privatised and he invested a huge amount into the railway, putting in new buildings, putting in new rolling stock and we've really continued his legacy. So myself and my business partner bought the railway back in 2014 and we've been running it and investing in it constantly since then. My name is Ryan and I'm an engine driver here and the engines we have here, we, we actually have got four steam engines and five diesels. All with their own individual histories, that's the thing with railway locos, they've all got their own past. We've got Bonnie Dundee who was built in 1900, that's a steam engine and, and that was actually originally built to work in Dundee Gasworks. And for diesels, we've got this one, DA1, built in 1986, and it first started its life down in Australia um, at the old Bushmill Railway. And it makes it very interesting, you know, for, for visitors to come down and learn the histories of each of those locomotives. Today, Cleethorpes Coast Light Railway has two stations, Kingsway, which is next to the Leisure Centre, and here at Lakeside, which is home to the smallest pub in the world. You can sit back and enjoy a refreshing drink at the award-winning pub, The Signal Box Inn. And at 8 by 8 square feet, it makes it the smallest pub in the world. Cheers. This year we're celebrating our 75th anniversary on the 15th and 16th of July. We've got a big anniversary weekend, so we've got visiting locos coming down. We've got visiting traction engines and vehicles, vintage vehicles, and we're just going to have a big celebration. But also we're really pleased to be opening our own 75th exhibition, which documents the story of the light railway here in Cleefort. And I think it's got a huge appeal from youngsters up to grandparents and generation after generation. We worked out the other day, we've probably carried over you know, five million people in the time the railway's been here, which incredible amount of memories and nostalgia in that. But also we're forever creating new memories for people who come down. And I don't think a seaside resort is the same without some sort of railway. We're really, really happy to continue that, that heritage on.